Good evening and uh, welcome to PC Shed. My name is Sergio and I would like to do just a short video as I promised in regards to how I personally use eBay to find uh, the best deals I can on the second hand market for PC parts and components. Um, this is just a little short video and just to guide you through what I personally do. Um, there's a second part of this video which is how I use GitGaf to help fund these projects as well uh, because you know I haven't got a endless pot of money but hopefully you find this uh, useful um, I've been showing a few people how to utilize uh, all the free ways that eBay can provide to sell your stuff without costing you a fortune and how to use PayPal as well so we'll crack on to it just bear with me I'll switch it over so you can actually see my screen uh, so here we go so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing so <clears throat> I've personally been uh, selling on and off on eBay uh, for quite a few years um, I had a store as well and uh, for those that never have done it before you can be very easily carried away thinking you can run your own business it doesn't work like that um, you'll be quickly find that with eBay fees and subscription fees and PayPal fees the little profit that you actually make per item is eaten away so what I tend to use for buying eBay is brilliant if you know what you're looking for for selling everybody's undercutting everybody so if you're there to make profit unless you got stuff you want to just get rid of it's just money tied up do it if you're trying to make a business out of it especially on the PC components then you're gonna find very quickly that whatever prices you put, there's somebody else sharing it cheaper, newer, with longer warranties. So this is just one of my uh, accounts that I currently have. I do use uh, different accounts uh, just because that uh, just gives me a bit more flexibility. So what, what I'm gonna do is just show you what to look for. So first rule, I never buy anything by it now okay I always look for auctions that's got uh, uh, best offer and it got no reserve um, I always try and contact oh excuse me <coughs> contact the seller before the auction is actually finished and make a cheeky offer if you don't ask you don't get and I've managed to get some really good quality parts below the asking price of the uh, uh, auction uh, secondly, uh, when you actually find an item that you're interested in, don't place a bid on it. And this is the biggest mistake people do. Watch it. All my bids tend to happen within 25 seconds before the auction finish. Okay? So, what I mean by that is if you... If you're looking for a graphics card, so let's just go and type in, here we go, uh, Titan x -Tardic. Okay, so you'll be able to see this. So, as you can see here, all of these cards, pretty much, um, are by it now. If you go into your auction, you'll hardly see any. Now, I always look for ending soonest, okay, see if there's any any finishing soon so here's one and the moment 410 pounds with virtually two days to go but always look at new listed okay so when you click on new listed there's an opportunity for you to see what is coming up way in advance and um, in one three five seven days auction even 30 days auction and uh, with this you can contact the person if they're looking for a quick sale they might do a deal even before the auctions finish which happened to me a lot um, so in regards to what to look for okay now my system if you look on my specs uh, I think it's on twitch yeah so this is my specs here hopefully you can see that and the camera is kind of covering it sorry about that so I have a Z97 uh, with a, a quad core 4790k it's still got a lot of life left on it and um, my uh, my compadre Richard he's got the latest Duda he's got the X99 deluxe motherboard with a 5930k 6 core jobby 
and uh, all singing, all dancing PC. Now, what's the difference between his PC and my PC? Very simple. His PC has got a lot more features that he hardly uses. He's using DDR4 memory, okay, and the graphics cards we've got, both got the same graphics card. His would have called are um, not. But when it comes to gaming, that's what the systems are being designed for, um, you're hardly going to see a huge difference. Okay, we're both using SSDs for the operating system. Um, so it gives you to just explain to you that you don't have to go to the latest platform to get the fastest gaming experience. Now, my PC, I designed this so it's a gaming station and a workstation because I render videos for YouTube on, at the moment as we speak, uploading one right now while I'm doing this. So, um, so the items I'm looking for usually is 4790K uh, quad core CPUs, okay? Um, AMD, okay? I'm not Intel or AMD. I used to be a big fanboy of AMD. Uh, the only processor I tend to look for is the uh, 5358 uh, uh, core CPU, 4 gig. Reason being that I can overclock that at 4.8, water cooled, and got a great performance for rendering. Um, for gaming, and you can check that by yourself, gaming, the 4790K is just the sweet spot for it, okay? I'm not saying any other CPUs either below it or above it is better, this is what I found. Um, for value, performance, and overclockability, um, and temperatures, because if I go and check my temperatures at the moment, while this is rendering something and uploading, let me see, real temps, so here we go. And uh, there we go, 37, 41, 47, four cores, okay. And and the reason this species particularly is not water cooled is because just above me is my missus sleeping away. And um, I've got it a notch work cooler on it, and it's doing a great job. And if you can hear my PC, I'll be very surprised. Um, yeah, close that. Going back. Um, so, items to look out for on eBay. Okay, so I put a Titan X because, to be fair, um, if you want absolutely overkill for a gaming, 12 gigs is ridiculous. So, graphics cards I tend to look for are, and I'll actually go into my eBay, so you'll be able to see what the sort of things I've been looking for. Now, when I look for parts, I tend to look for the whole build. Um, if I find the part that I want on a PC, and I'll, I'll have a look at that PC, and see how much money I can make in the other parts, I'll buy the whole PC, and I've done that a few times. So, I'll go through some purchase history. So, so I just, uh, here we are. Just bought this. Uh, this is a brand new system. Um, again, here's the specs. So it was a Skylake i5 and on a uh, Asus Z170 motherboard. It's got an R7. Um, again, nice, nice card. Four gig card. Um, AMD card, which is great. Um, 8 gigs of RAM, power supply, Corsair, great, terabytes of hard drive, brilliant, case and a few bits and bobs. Now, if you went to just say, this graphics card is a, you know, it's a, it's an okay card, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, just open another window so it just saves it. Okay, so, you'll see that people are selling these, you know, pretty cheap, you know, I'll, I'll consider it cheap. Um, so they're under 140 mark, color 130 new. So the resale value is not massive, okay? Now, the reason I bought that um, initially is that I needed a, a Z170 motherboard and that specific processor for a build that I'm gonna be doing in January. Um, the other system I managed to get uh, here we are, this is a little bit more like it. So this is what you should be looking for. Okay, a MSI R9290 graphics card for a gig with an Aces board and a 8350. 16 gigs of uh, 
DDR3 RAM, uh, good case as well, good power supply, a terabyte of, uh, this is a hybrid, a uh, solid state um, hybrid hard drive, um, mouse, keyboard, brilliant. Now, if you go do the same thing again, and you just copy and paste that and have a look. Okay, so that graphics card, if we can actually find it. Yep. So say buy it now so it give you an idea. So around a 200 mark. Okay, the processor. So let's have a look, AMD 8350. I know for a fact it's about 130, give or take. So 135, everybody cutting, everybody cutting. So brand new, all right. A terabyte, a terabyte of uh, hard drive, you're looking around the 50, 60 pounds, depending on the brand, okay. And then the actual motherboard itself. So I'll just copy that over. there we go 140 now just on those three items alone kind of covers the cost and everything else so 630 pounds and then you've got a case which is worth 100 pounds power supply around 50 mouse and keyboard 50 60 pounds give or take all right so you make it a little bit of money you're not talking hundreds of pounds of profit but you get the parts you wanted in this case i wanted the asus board and the uh, cpu and the graphics card and everything else i can sell so anyway, it gives you an example. Another little cheeky system. This was a cracking little find. This was a, a media PC, virtually brand new. There was hardly any dust in it. And again, had a, a 4690, it wasn't a K, uh, 4690 Intel 5 processor, an MSI Z97, and we just resold that. And a, this, this is the bunny there, a uh, Samsung, SSD drive uh, for those who never use these drives so gives you an idea how much are they selling for but what I liked about it was that he had a cracking graphics card and uh, I've had several uh, 970 GTX's my favorite is the uh, Gigabyte G1 and this graphics card on its own uh, brand new is almost you know they've knocked it down to call it 280 uh, don't consider the ones from the United States because you get landed with the custom taxes on it so you're talking between 280 300 pounds depending where you go now second hand you probably get maybe 240 250 so straight away CPU graphics card without the motherboard you're almost covering your costs so that's the sort of items are personally looking um, I have bought other systems as well um, but some are quite also I'll go into one that I've acquired you probably see it behind me just there and I'll just show you what the sort of thing I'm personally looking at okay so I always look in new listed pretty much on a daily basis gaming PCs that's the search that I do or water cool PCs okay um, look for um, any cards by NVIDIA, either the 780, the, six, um, the 6990. Uh, if AMD cards, if you want the top pen, look for the uh, 295X2, which is a brilliant card, uh, the R9290, again, a great card. Um, the 780Ti, brilliant card, okay? Um, and these cards are quite a few years old, okay? So here we are, uh, this moment in time, just looking at a couple of PCs, uh, but that's gone way, way over to what I was expecting. Uh, keep your eye on a 970 Ti at the moment. That's, that's nice and sweet with the virtually two days to go. Um, a couple of examples where people will pay over the odds. I, I watch this so I can show you. So if you were to buy something new, uh, like uh, Adele, Alienware or whatever, that's the sort of price you were looking for for a 5960K, 32 gigs of RAM with a Titan, one Titan. Um, again, 980 Ti's, that is the card to have, personally. That's what I have on mine, I've got this one exactly. And that is, for gaming, at this moment in time, 
it's great at 1440p i've got a 27 inch uh 1440p uh screen dual screens and that does it fine um again keeping an eye on titan Exus. here we are i found something which i thought blimey i used to have that now i just sold a couple of 8800 gtx's and that was the setup that i actually had believe it or not um a triple um what are called um gtx 8800 uh cracking cards and i was i still have some of my original cards and if you uh, look around, the only downfall at this moment is just doesn't support uh, DX11, 12, but uh, RAM wise, uh, 768 megabytes, I think. So if you're trying to run like a Witcher 3 game on it, you're going to struggle. Um, big star. Stuff that I also uh, looking and keeping an eye, uh, this long uh, auctions, 30 day auctions, and one of them is right here. Uh, I've been watching this for two months now. When this came up, it was almost seven grand, um, and uh, I actually made an offer, and the guy turned me down. Uh, and this is the full blown beans. This is a quad uh, crossfire um, setup uh, with a fantastic CPU overclocked to four point four, two R nines, two nine five X twos in quad crossfire. Good set of RAM, Platinum Dominator, great. Uh, great screen uh, and huge huge amount of uh, cooling the cooling setup on this is ridiculous 23 fans push pull um, don't like the cabling but that's just me um, I definitely would prefer hard tubing but he's I've been keeping an eye on this for two months now and he's, he's dropped the price again so who knows it could be another edition um, so I'll just show you I'm going to scroll very quickly I mean there was another one and I spilled but it was way, way overpriced. Um, and definitely one of a kind. Uh, just to check, give you an idea. If I can actually bring the photos. Um, so that was a nice build. Uh, the only problem is um, I won't go further back and when it comes to gaming PCs than the Z87. And I think this was built. Um, I'm not sure. I think it was. A later version of that board but anyway I will show you what I actually got myself here on the back okay so this will be coming up for sale um, okay uh, this here is what I actually got here behind and this is a fully water cooled uh, PC and I bought this to strip for parts, but after seeing it, it's frigging amazing. It's got a 5960 processor, two Titan Exus 12 gig cards with EK water blocks, a water block on a CPU, block block, 32 gigs of quality Dominator Corsa RAM, the DR4, 1500 watt power supply. Uh, up there, there's a alpha cool uh, triple radiator, a double radiator there at the back. Uh, there we can see a push pull. Now the front uh, came with a screen, a 34 inch Dell curved uh, screen. Um, that's the RAM, uh, three SSDs, um, a 730, uh, 520, and a light on 512 gigabytes, and a great, great guy that I met and uh, I've committed a lot of money to this um, that build but there's a few that this was a top-end system by the same guy and my god this gotta be the deal of the century okay so this PC was sold for 2200 pounds there was no reserve on it and uh, I was shocked that he actually went through with the sale so the sale is for a 5960k processor you know that that's 800 pound processor the hard drives another 140 uh so another kingston there about 120 and about a good of four terabytes you're looking at about 150 pounds uh so he had <laughs> not one not two but three nvidia 980 ti graphics card now considering these are around 500 pounds a piece that's 1500 pounds in graphics cards alone 1500 watt power supply 
um, that was uh, probably in the region two three two hundred and fifty pounds plus again 150 pounds for the ram considering that the processor and the graphics card if you were to sell that on ebay now you probably recover the cost of that so yeah sometimes when you're selling something on ebay make sure you know what you're doing and put a reserve because i was shocked that that actually went um so going back to what do i do personally when i'm selling so i've got a few items for selling in dlc so some of the stuff you probably seen me talk about in previous videos um so i tend to uh sell only once a month once i get an invitation by ebay to have 100 listings with 75 percent discount on uh the final fee that's the only time i will sell stuff not any other time the reason uh, i do it like this and you you be able to do that you need to sell between 20 to 30 items a month to qualify for that so they will send you that offer to you and the way i got into this because i've started just selling 20 30 pound graphics cards um and i got myself uh, on sim cards years ago now uh, this is gift calf and uh, gift calf uh, uses their customers in essence to promote and ex extend their network and the way to do that is give a sim card to your friend um, they will get five pounds when they activate it on top of with ten pounds but in return you get 500 points which is converted to five pounds and you can do that as many times as you as you want i think they're now limited to 30 sim cards a month but what i do is within ebay when uh, once a month when i have 100 free listings i set up a listing for the sim card for a penny i don't want to make money out of the sale of that what i would like is to give that to as many people so can I, they can go and activate it and get their five pounds free credit um so there's no cost for me in regards to putting the listing once i have the sale i don't care if it sells for a penny i don't care if they pay me or sells for a pound uh, what you want is the name of the person and the address because then you can just simply go to um, register yourself with giftgav set up an account which is free it's pretty straightforward i'll uh, quickly log in and uh, I'd set up an account here uh, just to show you guys this. Okay. Uh, by the way, that number is not in use. I, <laughs> I only use uh, that SIM card, so don't even bother trying to send me any texts or anything. So what you tend to do is if you want, once you set up an account, you have to get a SIM card by Giftcalf. You can order that directly from Giftcalf, and a lot of people don't know that. That's why they buy a sim card for gift uh, gift calf on ebay so what you're simply doing is providing that service by you pay a penny we'll send you a, a card there's two ways you can do that so once you sold this you will have the uh, name of the person and the address and all you have to do is very simply once you set up your account which is free by the way you just have to confirm your email address and activate order a sim card activate it put a credit on it like i have done here and then you simply go to order more sim cards two ways you can do that you can send this sim cards you'll see here you can order 30 sim cards a month so every sim card you get 500 points which is five pounds extra credit for whoever gets the sim card you can either have the sim cards sent to you and then you can give to your friends and family or post it or you like i do um i have the address so i can put the name of the person who i just sold the sim card in uh, ebay um, my friend's email i put a specific email address that i created so i get notified when giftcalf actually dispatches the sim card the postcode and just send it and it's as easy as that okay um 
It takes between one and three days, so it's costing you nothing on postage, nothing on the listing. The listing itself, you can see, I'll just very simply explain, okay, this is a SIM card that fits all. Uh, it's open to all networks. Uh, it runs on O2 network, sorry. And very clear, you'll need to make sure you explain, you need to top up with that pounds during activation to get your free five pounds credit, okay? Um, and explain what's actually available. So what I've done, I kind of, that's the picture of the actual SIM card. It's a tree, tree of SIM cards. So there's a nano, micro and standard. And uh, gives you all the goodies, okay? Tells you where to activate it. Just try to be helpful. And it's actually a pretty decent, uh, it's pay as you go SIM card. So cheap and cheerful. And I've been selling these a lot. Okay, I don't have multiple accounts. Here we are. So, so in regards that. to uh, the actual uh, listing, make sure you're clear, concise of what the actual you're offering. So it just covers all the dots and T's on eBay. In regards to payment, um, PayPal will you'll get 75% discount the final fee because you're putting below 99 pence uh, entry you hardly pay anything uh, in regards to PayPal fees which can range between 1.5 and 2.5 percent well 2.5 percent of a penny get charged nothing um, so overall this one I've just shown you a way that you can uh, use eBay for free uh, get a product for free get it delivered for free and quickly and you can do this a lot of times now the payback so I set up an account I've got multiple accounts but I set this account up uh, so I'll just go back so when that person receives the SIM card and now they will activate it um, so here we are I sent 26 out one person is activated when they activated so these are sales that I've done previous month they still haven't activated I think somebody bought them but here's here's one so at the back of the SIM card there's a unique activation code and when they activated and because you got an affiliate when you create an account and you order through your account you automatically accredit 500 points now the 500 points equates to so if we look at uh, my payback so at this moment in time that's 1500 points and the reason there's 1500 points is that I used a I ordered a sim card when I created this account I've activated it and I've put credit on it and I sold one so 15 pounds now Gifcaf used to pay out every month then they changed to four months and now it's every six months so I use this as a bit of a call it a saving pot that I know at the end of the six months, I'll have an X amount of money. So the possibilities on this, you might be thinking, well, it's only five pounds, okay. I've been doing this for a long time. And if I told you I have sold over 1800 SIM cards, you do the maths, okay. And I just created this account in November and I hadn't been using it. But when you go back to eBay and look at the listings, these are my listings. So some are replicated. Okay, now let's say you put 50 listings and you only sell 10. That's 50 pounds for doing two minutes work. 50 pounds for two minutes work is not bad and it doesn't cost you anything. And that's how I kind of used some of the funds putting together to be able to purchase uh, some of the PC systems that I've been buying and I've sold a lot of parts. Um, so you probably see, I shouldn't be showing this, but in the last 60 days, that kind of gives you about two grand's worth of parts. So that is gonna fund the following project. All right, so I'll just go back into this. So this is how you can crack on. Um, I will also assure you that on eBay, when you type gaming PCs, we'll give you a quick example. Never buy, buy it now. These, this is just overpriced for what they are. They're using uh, 
either a B rate stock if you say it's new and it's warranty don't get me wrong um, if you want to buy something new fine I don't I look for auctions first thing you need to look for is uh, have a look in your listed all right so things to look to look out for anything Intel quad core AMD eight core so straight away here there's um, postage now that's a, a bit of a deal breaker um, if you can get the PC delivered to you great uh, do not pay more than 20 pounds okay depending okay um, if it's local go and pick it up go and pick it up it just saves you um, if if it's to a pickup for me to go and pick up and if it's not local unless it's an extraordinary PC like last week I bought one uh, no I, 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 it doesn't matter how good the deal is I'm not even going to waste my time so let's have a little quick so this is a PC that just came up so what we've got here okay do it uh, straight away I'm not even bothering okay looking at that because it doesn't cover anything so Anthem don't touch it Pentium don't touch it way of a price straight away okay so unless it's got a behemoth graphics card so it's got a good decent here we are a six core 58 20 and an 80 ti now okay so now that's got my attention so straight away 980 ti graphics card you know if you go to the sites like scan which i use and buy stuff because they also have b stock there and you look in there nvidia and they're probably the cheapest okay so I'll give you an idea the cheapest 980 ti you could find brand new is around 520 quid okay gives you a guide price the actual processor the 5820k so have a quick look cpus i'll have a quick look at it's a 2011 v3 uh, da, 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 the enthusiast and if i'm not mistaken there you go 300 quid so I'll call that 800 pounds so what else has it got on it so it's got ddr4 16 gigs dominator platinum ram so let's go and have a quick gander on that uh top of my head i would say about 120 to see if it comes up no it doesn't so if i just put dominator platinum uh, so straight away there we go uh, and that was a 3000 overclock that was a 20 21 26 so you're looking about 150 quid give or take depending on the actual frequency so 150 so there's your thousand pounds now the board itself is a x99 board again great board anything but AMD GA is brilliant um, forgot to copy and paste too quick but um, so I'll give you an idea so there you go uh, depending it doesn't put the actual model of the board for x99 board cheap as you'll find is around the 200 250 brand new Case it says Corsa 350D. I have one of those. I know how much they cost. It's got a um, Corsair closed loop. That's 50, 60 quid. Windows 80 operating system, about 100 quid. So, is it worth a thousand pounds? If you were to buy this new, yes. But this is not new. So, four months old. And people don't realize this, is that as soon as a PC is longer than three months old, you lose 30, anything between 30 and 50% of its value, okay? So you cannot get the money you paid for it in the first place. Simple as. So this person has placed this and is thinking that you will get bids. I'll watch it, but I very much doubt it because there's no way. It is worth that, but let's have a look what else can we look have a quick gander what to look for what to look for here we go i was already watching this and he, 
he was okay perfect example okay so this is two week old custom pc okay um so this has got a 980 ti a uh, skylake 6600 venture 16 gigs a gigabyte z170 ssd gaming headset yeah so he's dropped his price and the reason i know he's dropped his price because if i go into my my ebay and watch items and that item actually ended and if i track it down and that's why i watch over 200 items a day there you go so straight away there was no bids he relisted it and now he knocked off um i think it's there you are, 50 quid All right he will drop that again i guarantee you so again straight away gaming pc what we got here anything worth looking so it's a z87 system so it's an old platform um it's got a 4770k good quality processor um it's actually got a ah that's a shame uh, 770 graphics card 2 gig now if you're getting a graphics card for gaming 2 gig for modern games you will be pushing it um, to get decent frames uh, 3 and 4 gigs uh, I would say a bare minimum uh, 6 is the, seems to be the area that most games are at at the moment um, so yeah again he's looking for 900 uh, is it worth 900 looking at the specs the processor uh, very quickly uh, just quickly looking da -da -da -da, platinum and it's a nice looking build you know don't get me wrong but will that pay 900 pounds no i'll pay 500 five six fifty at the most uh, that will be very interesting to see if that sells Oh god, this is just a mess. Why well, even lighting and galore? I don't do lighting. Um, so, okay, everything else is a little bit rubbish. When I say rubbish, it's virtually systems that's way, way overpriced. No intention. Um, what a cool game PC. You probably get the same, but you'll be surprised. Now, here straight away, I can catch my eye, but this is the United States, so, but it's worth looking. To give you an idea now the reason why i don't touch anything from the united states nothing because there's nothing wrong with it is after you buy something from the united states at value and you think you got a great deal two three weeks later you got a frigging bill which is a customs and excise bill could be anything from 50 to 100 pounds so again there's a old chipset there graphics cards now worth 200 pounds terabytes 50 another 50 uh, radiator 45 50 pounds so yeah you're not gonna get that I can tell you that there we are someone's water cooling testing rig that was for sale last week didn't sell it's put up again uh, that's one of mine that is a Razor. So this brand new. This is a used. This came with the PC that I bought last week. Um, to give you an idea. Uh, so great gaming keyboard, mechanical keyboard. And if you were to just copy and just to prove to you that I am not a rip off, there's one bidder on it. Um, let's go into uh, there. Just paste that okay so here we are this is an auction three hours left so there's one bid if you were to buy this brand new you're talking over a hundred pounds so buy it now just give you an idea okay so there's different models of it um, and auction wise have a quick look it's only me who's actually have currently on auction and it's a bargain so i do sell stuff i try to make a little bit of money but i'm not greedy i want to help others as well that doesn't like to upgrade their current system even if it's a keyboard for me i've got a basic keyboard by i think it's logitech uh, g11 it's years old it does what it needs to do do i need fancy lights 
No, I don't. Right, let's go back to where we were. Uh, water cooling, water cooling, water cooling. There's nothing much. So when you're doing your search, okay, make sure you look at the ending soonest. See what's if there's any deals. Put all listings first. And uh, here we are. I've been watching this one. So uh, it's an old build, but it's a cracking little build. And the reason it's cracking little build is because it's got. Uh, there you go. Quite tidy. And there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. You know, we've got some good quality parts in there. Um, hard tubing would be nice in that. But it's a nice clean uh, system. Um, right, really? Yeah. Someone's going to pay over £1,500 for that. Christ's sake. Um, also, um, in regards to graphics cards, so we've looked at whole PCs. So let's say you're only looking for a graphics card. Um, yeah, if you look for the 970 uh, GTX, uh, straight away, um, I wouldn't pay more than £200. Uh, because that's how you would, you'd probably get a return of maybe 220 if that. Uh, I'm talking second hand, brand new. Uh, if you buy it now, you're going to see people selling it. These are from the United States, but you know, seriously, yeah, right, okay, dream on. Uh, reason being, I say dream on because I know the prices, I use other websites. But if you just simply just go to the scan, and uh, at this moment in time, I use Novatec scan and overclockers, okay, so brand new, you can pick up a 4 gig 970 for under 240, okay, 250, give or take, gigabyte, whatever, uh, going all the way. To uh, three hundred pounds. That's an extreme version. All it is is a uh, overclocked version, which you can do yourself. Okay, so yeah, waste of time there. Um, you can see straight away. You see how overpriced brand new. You would you'd be silly to buy brand new because in auction you can pick up one. So let's say sunless. 13 hours to go, I think that will go around 220. You can see, look, 220, new listing, okay, cheap postage, 18 hours to go, no bids. That kind of tells you, doesn't it? Um, let's have a quick gander. So I would avoid uh, pretty much anything with the reference cooler. Um, I bought a Titan X with a reference cooler just to see how it performed. Actually, surprised it performed quite well, but they are noisy. Um, if you're going for the 970, go for the um, Asus Strix of the Gigabyte MSI, very good, just because the fans don't really kick in at, uh, until the graphics card reaches 60 degrees, but you can change that if you're overclocking. Um, again, a lot of American, I don't touch American auctions. Um, then you get regions like this, you 780 Ti, you know, people saying, oh, the 980 Ti is the rage. No, but the sweet spot, you can get great bargains. Now, the 780 Ti is an amazing card. It is an amazing card. Got three gigs of RAM on it, and uh, CUDA cores, it actually got more CUDA cores than the um, 900 series uh, 970 um, GTX. Don't believe me? Okay. So, let's go uh, 970 GTX. All right, so here we are. Let's have a look at the specs. The specs, straight straight away, 1664. Okay, cooler cores. Now, for me, why is that important? I do video rendering. The more cooler cores I have, the better. So yes, it does have four gigs of uh, RAM, but if you look at the bandwidth, 224. Okay, bear that in mind. Now, if we go back and we go to the 780 Ti, and have a look at the specs very quickly 2880 cooler cores okay and it's got three gigs of ram and but look at the bandwidth 336 now what would you prefer to get a card that's got one extra gig of ram or the 780 ti <laughs> It's a very easy answer there. Uh, the 750 Ti is a bit of a cut down version. Um, you can get great bargains, okay? 
but I think one of the forgotten heroes is this little bad boy oh god what's happened all these things uh, that this is you remember that and still it's Goliath of a card the GTX 690 people don't talk about that let's have a look quick look at the specs on that bad boy uh, when this came out okay 3072 cooler cores with bandwidth of 384 uh, yes it does have 4 gigs of RAM but the reason being is that I got 2 chip GPUs in one card so in essence it has 2 gigs on each of the cards ok so it's a slight card built in one that's what you have here and that if you can find a cheap one uh, so look. Uh, and not 300 pounds <laughs> that's for sure uh, anything around the 200 mark that is a great value gaming card rendering galore card alrighty uh, and yeah someone's trying to sell uh, these cards for stupid amounts of money because they don't make them anymore um, if you go into scan scan tends to have quite a good selection and if you look at here we are, the 600, they, they still do the 660 Ti, the 750 Ti, and that is it. <laughs> There's nothing else. And it tells you CUDA cores, to reach that sort of CUDA cores, it's actually got more CUDA cores than a 980 Ti 6 gig card. There you go. So hopefully you found this little session, I know I've probably dragged on uh, a little bit long, um, but uh, I've been going NVIDIA, 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 AMD uh, do have a great card Let's try to find it, uh, so there you go uh, AMD X2295, see if there's any for sale uh, yeah, stupid money <laughs> yeah, uh, if you can find this card for the 400 pound mark buy it it's an awesome card okay a gig of ram is in essence where you have there two graphics cards amd stuck in one with both shared um both with four gig ram uh so if you're into your 4k that's what it actually looks like uh don't pay that money for it please um, it's a use if you can get it below that there's a behemoth of a card it's water cooled and uh, yeah it runs hot that's why it's water cooled and uh, to this day they're still claiming to be the world's fastest GPU and at one point it was but uh, that's one of them uh, also have a look for the R9 um, in the 290 it's a great little card okay um, these cards I do run quite hot but if you can get it what a cool like this person clever person has done okay what a cool that social card and you take that heat away it's a great buy alrighty the water blocks for me are not cheap um, the 280 270 280 nothing wrong with it nothing wrong at all with it depending on what resolution so when you're buying a graphics card and going on about graphics card make sure you understand what resolution you want to use it for if it's for 1080p any of the cards that I mentioned is pretty much overkill 1440p then yes you do need something that can support that resolution depending if it's uh, 22 24 27 inch 34 inch like the screen I've got at the back yeah, do you need a Titan X to run a game at 1080p? No, you don't. I've got a friend of mine who's got a 2 gig NVIDIA 630 card that doesn't even need external power to it. And he's playing 
say Far Cry 3 fine because his resolution is 1080p give you an example there so just make sure when you're making decisions into um, piece and components you understand what you're actually going to use it for is it game is it a rendering is it video coding or whatever you want to do make sure you understand it do your research for me I'm self-taught you know I go to the websites like one of my favorite websites is this website here uh, I've been to the store I've got an affiliate program with them and they're brilliant because they have the top-notch stuff um, so all graphics cards so you have a look give you an idea so they are still selling the Titan Z yeah 1200 pounds I just oh crazy money I think when I came out was 1500 if not more so what what what's that card so two Titan extra GPUs stuck together on one board so in essence what you have is a slide card but the worst thing that they've done that I think there's so much heat they've dropped the core from a thousand megahertz down to 705 so what's the point of that yes so yeah do you need one of those to a game no even the Titan Titan X actually drop slightly in price is the first time I've seen this year that's gone brand new brand new at 800 pounds now I'm looking for a gigabyte 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 so gigabyte they've got an extreme version of it okay I bought a gigabyte one with a reference cooler yeah did I pay that amount hell no because I bought a second hand I'm not daft okay and it fully works nothing nothing wrong with it you probably see that card in sale the 980 Ti's overclockers are brilliant because they have the top notch if you look all the way down um, they have some of the Hall of Fame they have the Matrix uh, what are called uh, this one for people that are into their overclocking it just mental okay um, you pay a huge premium if you want pre overclock okay this is um, this is what Richard's got in his system he wanted water cooling but he didn't know much about it so a closed loop comes factory overclock straight away auto boosted to um, 1228 okay um, and I think the temperatures doesn't even reach 50 degrees on the load which is great and that cooler is brilliant by the way if, um, if you're looking for something simple uh, and I've just been uh, okay someone just sent me a photo lovely um, sweet spot the 970 for 1080p if you want 1080p or 1440p this card is great okay uh, especially if you go for the gigabyte not the mini you want to uh, gigabyte and you want the G1 um, I can vouch for that because I had that that overclock like a mad now you might thinking whoa that's way way overpriced now yeah overclockers you need to do something about this because 300 pounds for this card okay and uh, you, you, you're gonna lose my business okay if you start doing stuff like that that is a bit cheeky very cheeky because straight away same bloody card 25 pounds cheaper sort that crap out I've been greedy but sorry um, this card overclocks like mad okay I managed to push that uh, to 1550 megahertz uh, the RAM um, as well uh, <laughs> yeah I've managed to get an extra I think it was running I can't even remember now but it was a good 15-20% increase and the temperatures the, the cooler on that is phenomenal no cooler wine whatsoever I do miss that card by the way because it was so quiet it kept my temperatures low I used to benchmark it use uh, 3d mark it was brilliant um, so if you're getting a 9 a 970 GTX 
consider this one. The second one I would consider is either the MSI or the Asus Strix, but you do pay a premium for that. Um, let's see if they have Asus, Asus Strix, where are you? Have a quick look. Um, oh yeah, here we go. That cooler is phenomenal. Okay. Um, again, that is a reserve because you can push these GPUs really high because cooling is phenomenal uh, for uh, and the reason I wanted the the 970 and um, G1 is because the PCB on it was custom made by Gigabyte it's not a reference card that's why I stuck with Gigabyte G1980 Ti because it's a custom PCB board was being made by gigabyte and tweaked and it's used the only part then is used by on that graphics card is uh, the nvidia chip everything else been redesigned so if you get a card like that and you get a reference card by nvidia the nice silver one with the stock cooling put a performance performance guarantee you way way above gigabyte will win every time so Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, I will do a little bit more of these uh, because I did get quite a lot of stick uh, messages on um, emails in regards to you promised to do stuff but you never deliver. Well, here we are. Try to. Uh, so I hope that you will uh, see this useful. Uh, check out um, our facebook uh we also on twitter okay uh, so um also in, in instagram uh, our youtube channel as well and of course we're on twitch uh as well and i hope that uh you will enjoy the upcoming videos uh look out for we just uploaded one as the actual tour not tour, the actual shed. <laughs> We've been going on for three months and we never filmed the shed that we were at. And now today we did. Uh, so about an hour ago we uploaded a video. Uh, it's about 10, 10, 12 minutes long. It gives you an idea. Showing some of the stuff that we're actually selling at the moment on eBay. Um, so look out for PC Shed 2015 uh, for extra bargain. All right, until next time, thanks very much, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.